Paul. Very nice, sir. My next guest was one of the uh, was the lead singer for one of the most popular rock and roll bands in the world. He has also been acclaimed for his acting in such films as Tommy and such plays as Shakespeare's Comedy of Errors. Tomorrow night, this man will be a presenter at the first annual MTV Music Awards. Please welcome Roger Daltrey. Yeah, Roger Daltrey. Good to see you. That's good. That's great. Nice to see you. Thank yeah. you very much. Uh, thanks for being here. That's great. That's exciting, isn't it? But you're yeah. you're accustomed to that, aren't you? It's been a long time now. It's been two yeah. years since I was last uh, on stage. Yeah. Well, they they love you, and it's nice to hear. That's it. great. Uh, now I was just told you were across the hall doing uh, Live at Five, the uh, Channel Four show here in New York City. That's right. And afterwards, somebody asked you for an autograph picture. That's right. Now, what, what was the deal there? And they'd just been downstairs to buy this photo, and, and they were sold a photograph, and it was, it was said it was the last photo they had of The Who, uh -huh. and it was Led Zeppelin. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, no, 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 it won't get forward again. Did you, did you sign it? <laughs> of course. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> now, uh, tomorrow night, the big night, this is, this is really going to be something, isn't it? Is it? <laughs> I, I, everybody seems. I know nothing about it. I mean, yeah. I just come and present a prize. So what what, what category said, are you presenting? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll find out later. Yeah. They, they're doing a rehearsal, supposedly, today. Now, this is a major thing. You and other big stars from the music industry are going to be there, right? Yes, yeah, supposedly. <laughs> <laughs> it's, well, you know, yeah. it's MTV. You know. yeah. Anything could happen. Uh-huh. Uh, do you, do you, as, uh, do you like uh, videos? I don't, I don't think you, as a band, you guys did many, did you? We, we, we did a, a few, but I mean, I'm not a real fan of videos. Really? No. I mean, I, I like watching other people do them. I don't, like, I don't like doing them myself. Why don't you like doing them yourself? I, I think good music should be left to the imagination, and I think videos take something away. Yeah. 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 No, I'm not knocking MTV, because I think it, they're providing a service, and you know, the good videos yeah. are good. Yeah, well, it, I guess it could go both ways. Yeah, I mean, if you, right. if you had no association mentally with the song, the video could provide you with That's one. Right. Uh, yeah. On the other hand, it might be nice to conjure It's that own. wonderful skit that uh, Not the Nine O'Clock News did, which is a nice video, shame about the song. And it's, the business seems to have become that. Yeah. You know, the, the video seems to be sometimes more important. Well, it's big business now, and you're going to be in the center of it tomorrow night, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I am now. Yeah. Uh, I'm writing it. <laughs> now, uh, speaking of big business, you're quite an entrepreneur yourself, aren't you? Well, um, I suppose so. Yeah, what, what other things do you have going on besides your, your films, your plays, acting, music? Uh, I've got a farm, which I've had for about 10 years, uh -huh. which I actually did work for a year. An actual I bought this farm, farm and I thought, well, I must find out about farming. Yeah. So I actually took a year out and, and farmed for a year. Yeah, what sort of things did you... God, it was boring. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I, I, I built some lakes, because uh, I always promised myself that I would have a place that I could fish at mm -hmm. the bottom of the garden. So I built these lakes and uh, stopped them with trout, and a friend of mine came down and he said, you can't have all this for yourself. So I, said, I thought about it, and I thought, he's probably right, because you know, England's yeah. not a very big country. Um, how, how, can I ask you how big the property was? I've got 300 acres. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, she's not a big farm by English standards now. Oh, really? I mean, you, you can just about earn a living off of that now yeah. with modern farming. But anyway, so I, I decided to open these, uh, these trout lakes for a fishery, and people come fishing. That's yeah. great. Well, now, if folks, families come in for the weekend, for, by they the come hour? For the day. What do you charge them to come in? They, they, they buy a ticket, and that entitles them to catch four fish, <laughs> if, they're, <laughs> if, if they're lucky. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and those four fish, you know, they could catch four fish that weigh 12 pounds each, or they could... What's the fall. biggest fish they've hauled out of there? This year, I think the biggest was about 16 pounds. That's pretty good. That's a good trout. Yeah. You know, now, what, what do they pay to get into fish here? It's 12 pounds 50 a day, which is about uh, 18 dollars. Probably about 12 dollars now. <laughs> I haven't yeah. seen the pound today. Yeah. But it's about 18 dollars. So it's not bad. So they could conceivably go in there and get four giant they fish. Could it's come not out a bad with deal. Probably forty pounds worth of fish. Yeah, yeah. But it works out an average of uh, now that's a very two point five fish per person. Two point five. It's funny. It works out like that. That's a very. Uh, that's a. Uh, I would not have thought of, of doing yeah. that to make a there's make a lot, lot of money. There's a lot to learn about fish. I mean, there's a lot to be learned from yeah. fish. Yeah. Is trout primarily? <laughs> trout. Yeah. All right. Uh, Roger, we have to do a commercial. We'll be back though uh, with Roger Dalton, folks. <laughs>
it, um, how does it feel to be a Shakespearean actor now? Uh, that was a great experience. Yeah, I, I would guess so. It. Yeah, it's great. It seems to me like anybody who decides to do that, not necessarily coming from a theatrical background, or even coming from a theatrical background, is really asking for trouble. But you did very well in it. It was, yeah, it was, I was so naive, I know nothing about it. Yeah. And, uh, my agent phoned up and said, do you, do you want to go up for this part, The Comedy of Errors? I said, what's that? He said, well, it's by Shakespeare. And I, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I can't stand Shakespeare. But I went up. <laughs> he said, well, uh, he said, go for it. He said, because it's a good play and, and uh, you might learn to like it. So I looked at it and I went for the audition. Yeah. And uh, to my surprise, I actually got it. And once I started working on it, I just fell in love. You did fall in love with oh, it? Oh, yeah. And he He's had... quite good, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I, I, I think you'll make it. <laughs> and you, you also got nice reviews for your work, which is, yeah, uh, that's got to be really yeah, icing they were on good the cake to me. Yeah, very good. To now, me. when you were uh, working with The Who, by the way, is, is, will, will that ever happen again? Will the group ever perform? Well, I don't know. I mean, Pete doesn't want to do it with The Who, but he changes his mind a lot. Yeah. Uh, I, th I don't think so, but you never know. I think I'll work with Pete again. Well, now, when you guys were at the end of it, was there, a, was there any friction? Could you get along all right? Was any, any of that a problem? Um, we, we, the friction kept us alive. It kept us creative. It's yeah. when we started to get along that it all started to go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it, that's true. Yeah. We were all so busy trying to, to get on with each other that we forgot about what we were there to do sometimes. Yeah, but you're saying you and Pete Townsend will probably work again, but maybe I think so, not yeah, as, as the who. No, I, I, I don't think that it's important that it's the Who. I, I think uh, I find it very hard to find rock and roll music that, that fulfills me as, as a, a singer after singing Townsend lyrics for 20 years. Does, does, he's a fabulous writer. He's, yeah. he's cool. Yeah. Do you have, uh, uh, after your uh, experience with Shakespeare, do you have a different perspective on rock and roll? Has it, has it changed a little bit? Does it seem a little less significant, about the same, more? Or? No, it, 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 uh, yeah, I find that rock and roll doesn't accommodate the feelings of middle age very easily. I mean, I don't feel the same. Rock and roll insists that I perform and behave like I did 20 years ago. Yeah. And I don't feel like that anymore. And, it's, and that's what I don't like about it. Yeah, yeah, all right. Uh, listen, tomorrow night, I'll be watching the first annual MTV Music Awards, and you're not sure what category? No, I think it's the best performance video. All right, all right. Well, look how many it. categories can you get for videos? I don't know. <laughs> I guess color, black color, and white. yeah, black and yeah. white. Yeah. On and on. Yes. Uh, what well, should be fun? The amount of uh, nice, tasty ladies. Yeah, <laughs> well, it'll be there all night. Uh, There's plenty of them on there. Yes, sir. Oh. Roger Daltrey, nice meeting you, Roger. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well, uh, we'll be back, folks. Okay, we're uh, out of time. First of all, Larry Miller, a fine comedian, was going to be with us tonight. We ran out of time because I was snotty to the first woman, and, I, and I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Um, anyway, Larry will be uh, rescheduled, be on the show uh, soon. And uh, Roger, thank you very much again. Nice to meet you, and good luck to you, sir. Monday, Brother Theodore, author Edward Zuckerman, and Baton Thriller, Claudia Costa. Have a good weekend, folks. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs>